Since my hot take on Therians went viral, a lot of people are making a lot of videos about me, sending me countless harassing messages and leaving countless comments in my videos and my streams demanding that I make a public apology. But I got something better than that. I've got another hot take for you today. And I don't care if you get angry at this. If you find yourself getting angry at this, then you're the person that this video is directed at. I am done. Finny. Sayonara. Arrivederci. To 90% of the LGBTQIA, wokeism, Gen Z left-wing ideologies, and 90% of internet brain-rotted communities in 2024. I binged all your nano stuff. That is bussing. No cap. What? And this is nearly 100% the younger generation. The Gen Zs. The Gen Alpha. Because it's the older generations, the millennials and the boomers and the older members of the LGBTQIA who agree with me on most of my stances. I would also like to make it very clear at the start of this video that I am pansexual and that I was bisexual before I was pansexual when I realized I was pansexual in like 2016, 2017 and I wasn't bisexual. So I am and always have been a member of the LGBTQIA ever since I was eight years old and I saw that video of tattoo, I knew. I knew. But what I didn't know or anticipate was the younger generation turning this open-minded, beautiful, safe space for left-minded people into a extremist, ideological, almost cult-like clique. It's crazy to believe that these left-wing thinking people are actually very right-winged in their extremism. If you try to disagree with even one of their ideologies, they will cast you out, they will harass you, they will bully you, and they will target you as a community. If many people don't know, I'm firstly a full-time streamer and a variety gamer, and I'm also a massive Harry Potter fan. So naturally, a lot of my viewers were asking if I was going to be a person that was going to be playing Hogwarts Legacy. And we can all probably agree that JK Rowling is a massive nut job and one of the biggest the world over, but before she came out as a nut job, this is one of the biggest fandoms the world over and was a massive safe place for every member of the LGBTQIA. She created a world where you could do anything and be anything you wanted to be. This world was bigger than her at this stage 20 years later. So even if she's crazy, we all know that, she doesn't align with the game and the universe anymore. So that's the message I was trying to give to people in my stream in February 2023, that you could play Hogwarts Legacy and you could like Harry Potter and that doesn't mean that you align with the ideologies of JK Rowling. Because honestly, what did you want me to do? Did you want me to throw out all my Harry Potter stuff, all my books, all my memories? That's like one of the first books my dad read to me when I was like six years old was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. That's like a core memory for me. So no, I'm not going to do that just because you say what I have to do. No, that's not fair. If you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead. But don't expect everyone else to fall in line and then call us homophobes, transphobes. It's not fair. Do you want to know how many friends I lost? How many streaming friends, how many collabs, how many content creator friends I lost in February 2023? All of them. I lost them all. All the regular people that I used to raise, all the regular streams that I used to watch, blocked me. Didn't want to have anything to do with me anymore. Even though I raised $7,230 for a Trans Equality Network Ireland, and the National Center of Trans Equality in the United States. I will post the pictures right here so that you can see that I'm not joking. I raised that money because how I saw it was that even if the game was worth 70, if everyone tried to give the money back to the trans community in some way and offset it, then it could be justified. And that was the message that I was trying to bring across. But no, because I didn't fall in line with what I was being told to do, I was wrong. And you couldn't be friends with me anymore because I was a transphobe. I was getting attacked in nearly every stream. I was getting hate raids all the time. And I actually never had such a higher demographic. I was getting like 500 average views per stream. 
I guess someone agreed with my ideology. I will always be an ally of the LGBTQIA. I will always be an ally for trans members of the LGBTQIA. I will always stand up for people. That's what I think is important to do as a streamer, as a content creator. And I will always try and help people feel heard when they're not being heard behind a wave of people who aren't listening. Now comes in the recent debacle that I've had, the Therian community. And I don't have a problem. If you want to run around doing quadrobics with a tail and a mask, sure, you do you. But my problem is in the mental health side of things and how the offset of some members of the Therian community have had a negative impact on members of the trans community. And I've talked with members of the Therian community. We talked together on stream last week. Let me show you how it went. So for like all of the Therian people that are over on YouTube that are in the chat right now, I see one and like they can stay in the chat. Don't ban them from the chat if they're not being rude. If they be rude, ban them from the chat. But I want them to hear this. I, I, I want the Therian people in the YouTube chat to hear this. See how I didn't assume anyone's pronouns or gender? Very mindful. Very demure. So, is there any Therians in the chat? Uh, Florial on pause. Okay, um, I'll direct my questions at you. So, um, if there's, well, there's a few, there's a few people answering. My first question is, do you have a mask? Like, you know, the way lots of Therians like to do quadrobics, which is um, exercises and learning how to walk on your hands and your legs while being like four. Yep, I have four. So I'll, I'll tell you my research on what I've seen as to why ye like to wear masks. And what I read online was that the reason that you like to wear masks is because it makes you feel more connected to the animal spirit that you feel most connected to. And when you wear the mask, it helps you feel like that part of yourself, correct? Okay, stay with me. I also learned about shifting. Do any of you practice shifting? It's involuntary. Please explain to me why it's involuntary. And I'll explain to everyone in the chat what shifting is. So I have done my research and shifting in the Therian community is when you become mentally more in tune with your animal spirit and you start to act like said animal. As an example, you might naturally go into your quadrobics stance. You might psychologically feel that you have a tail that's not there, but you feel it's there. Or you might just shift into an animalistic mindset. Am I getting this right? Okay. So all the Therians over in the YouTube chat are saying that everything that I'm saying is correct and it's on point with what they believe in so far when it comes to the masks and when it comes to shifting and how it's involuntary when shifting happens. Okay, I haven't lost anyone yet, have I? Yes, pretty much. Okay, does anyone here know what psychosis is? Does anyone here know the medical term for psychosis? Psychosis refers to a collection of symptoms that affect the mind where there has been some loss of contact with reality. During an episode of psychosis, a person's thoughts and perception are disrupted and they may have difficulty recognizing what is real and what is not. Now let me look up the definition of shifting in Therian. Shifts, shifting, or shifting are the terms used when Therianthropes have experiences that cause them to feel more like their stereotype in a non-physical manner. Shifts are usually temporary, but some Therians have reportedly feeling constant shifts most commonly phantom shifts. This is psychosis. 
there has been some loss of contact with reality. I am not trying to be rude to you, but this is dangerous. This is literally dangerous because once you start telling your mind that something is correct, it takes years of mental health and psychological therapy to fix what you have done. This is super, super dangerous for your brain. I love how you, how you do this as in dangerous. So I'll give you another example of believing things that aren't real. For example, when my ex passed away from suicide, I thought that I was seeing him everywhere. I thought that like I was seeing him in places in like where I went to school. When I was going home, I thought I heard his ringtone on Fridays because he'd always call me on a Friday. I thought that I was receiving messages from him when I wasn't. And I was telling my brain that this was happening because I didn't want to deal with the reality that he wasn't there anymore. This is psychosis. This is the same thing. You are telling yourself something that is not true. Like when you tell your brain that it's okay that these things are happening, your brain is going to continue to believe that this is real when it's not. And it's not good for the development of your brain. I will stand with my hand over my heart and say that I do not think that the Therian community from the research that I have done is safe for the development of young people's brains, especially young teenagers or children. It is not safe for children to be part of a community where the main goal of the community is to disconnect themselves from reality as much as possible. And this is different from D&D or playing video games because when you play D&D or video games, you can pick up the game, put down the game, get back to your regular life. This is making it difficult for people to tell the difference between what is real and what is not. And that's what's dangerous. It makes me so, so angry because I've been called a transphobe and a fake ally for what I said in my live stream. So I just want to reiterate my hot take and I still stand by it today. I believe that neo pronouns such as cats, cats, dogs, dogs, wolf, wolves that some members of the Therian community use is actually more damaging to the wider acceptance of the trans community in society. People within the trans community have worked so hard for decades to be recognized and accepted as the gender that they recognize as. And it's these f***ing kids now in Gen Z and Gen Alpha who are blowing up on the internet and the news telling people that they have to recognize them for their neo-pronouns. And of course, gentle parenting, schools and society has to pander to this. But in pandering to this, we've also opened the door to people that say stuff like, Oh, I recognize as an Apache attack helicopter. And this, this is what's hurting the trans community. You are making a joke out of it. When you blow up on the internet for these things and you get put into the news, things get out of control. People spin narratives and people start to make a joke out of people who just want to be recognized as the gender they are working so hard to be recognized at. You're not a cat. You're not a dog. So asking people to recognize you as these things is ridiculous. I'm never going to agree with neo-pronouns. I'm sorry, but that's just my take on that. Do you want to know how many collabs, how many friends, how many streaming friends I've lost as a result of my disagreements with the Therian community and neo-pronouns? None of them. None of them. Because... I think a large majority of people in silence actually agree with me. They're just too afraid to come out and say it in public because they don't want to deal with the drama and the hate and the harassment that the community brings to them. And honestly, this is just not my scene. It doesn't matter how tolerant you are, how open you are, or how loving you are as an individual to other people. If you don't match all of their woke idealistic mindsets, then you're the problem. If you don't drop everything when they tell you to drop it, if you don't agree with them on all of their takes, on all of their beliefs, on everything that they say is right and everything that they say is wrong, you're going to be next.
because I don't want to fall in line. I don't want to agree with everything without thinking about it. I don't want to just mindlessly say that's cancelled. I don't agree with that. If there's another way that I can get around it and I can try and bring light to something and make it actually better and raise money for people that need money, sure, I'm going to do that. That's what I'm here for. I always say that I will always stand up for people that don't have a voice. I will always stand up for what I think is correct. I do not think this is correct anymore. And I do not apologize for what I said. I will not be bullied by left, wokest, ideological extremists anymore. I'm done. Thank you.